Hey, what is going on, Citrus Squad? Mr. Lime here, and welcome back to a, another drinks review. Today, we are viewing Dr. Pepper's Energy. But before we get on to that, if you want to save 10% discount on Excite Energy products, don't forget to use code by Elliot. Or if you want to save 10% discount on X Gamer products, don't forget to use code Mr. Lime. Both will be in the description below. So, yes, today we are reviewing Dr. Pepper's Energy. Now, I found this particular can out of a American kind of candy drink type shop in Bedford Town Centre, which is now shut due to COVID, and which is a shame because he had some really good drinks in there. And it cost me £2.50. Now, yes, that is a little bit expensive on the price side for a 250ml can, but bearing in mind, guys, we can pay almost £2 for a Red Bull size equivalent to this in a service station in England so the fact that this is imported it's different it's cool 250 isn't that bad and the fact they've got to make a profit on it so 250 I'm happy to pay that to a view so yes let's give you guys a full 360 of the can so we have a fairly cool looking can design it kind of not your usual Dr Pepper what you'd expect we have kind of like the Dr Pepper logo and stuff kind of there but just around it it just looks kind of really cool we have like this kind of I guess kind of glass broken design i mean yeah i guess that makes sense kind of like cracked glass design with all the lines up here as if it was a broken mirror or something and we have taurine up there what else do we have we have it says 20 23 something on there 23 uh can't really read that it's really bad but it says 23 on there it's really reflective and of course we have energy on the bottom on the back we have the ingredients and stuff there is two languages it says actually english and then there's uh, Polish. I think this is actually mainly, I think, a Polish drink, but even with the English language, I've never ever seen this before in England in any shop anywhere, apart from this American shop, which of course is imported. So I'll get to the uh, ingredients in a second. On the bottom, we have nothing, and on the top, everything is all standard and silver, including the pull ring. So let's see, having a close look at the back of the can. So, yes, we have English, and then I believe that is Polish. So, caffeine content is bang on the average of 32 milligrams per 100 mil. Sugar content is 11 grams per 100 mil, so it's one grams above the average, which is generally 10 grams. And the total can contains 28 grams of sugar. So yes, yeah, about the average 11 grams, but you know, not too bad. And then we have our favorite and usual vitamins, which are niacin, panathenic acid, vitamin B6 and B12. So apart from that, I don't think there's really anything else interesting on the can i will check for sweeteners though even though it's full sugar so let's have a quick look let's see carbon dioxide ammonia caramel phosphoric acid yes caffeine flavorings uh oh i don't think there's any sweeteners at all actually there's no sweeteners at all well from what i'm reading here so yeah from what i can see there's no sweeteners so that's 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 fine there's constantly sweeteners on there okay guys so it's nice and cold. I have got a cup. I've got my Mr. Lyman HD review cup. Let's get straight into it. Hopefully it does not explode over me. So, yeah, it's pretty much going to be Dr. Pepper with caffeine, I hope. Now, we all know or knew <laughs> how bad the Coke energies are. They're, just, they're disgusting. Most people agree they're disgusting. So I'm hoping this isn't going to be kind of down the same path because I do like Dr. Pepper as a drink, albeit Dr. Pepper Zero predominantly. Um, I don't drink the full sugar Dr. Pepper. So as this has got full sugar, I will be interested to see how this tastes. But I'm hoping it's just going to be nice because the Coke energies were so bad. They just, they flopped. And well, I guess we'll see how this tastes. So I'm guessing the colour is going to just be the colour of dark, black, death, like generally these fizzy kind of drinks are. And the smell, well, it's probably going to smell of, I, I don't know, Dr. Pepper can kind of smell a marzipan a little bit, can't it? Just a little bit. So... But we'll have to find out. And the, and the taste, well, yeah, I'm hoping it's going to taste of Dr. Pepper. I'm struggling to, oh, there we go. That's a little bit tough there. Here we go. Yep, surprise, surprise. And here comes the crazy Coke style fizz. Because you all know Dr. Pepper is one of those really, really fizzy drinks as well. See all the bubbles coming off on the top there. Don't know if you can see that on the camera. Anyway, so of course it fits perfectly in my 260 mil cup, it looks like. There we go, so we'll put that to a side. So the colour, yes, is indeed the colour of 
Let's move my uh, Mr. Lime logo out of the way. So yes, it is indeed the colour of death, which is just jet black, looks exactly like Coca-Cola. Loads of foam and bubbles came out of that, loads of bubbles on the side, as you'd expect with a drink like this. So I couldn't smell it while pouring it out, so let's give it a closer smell now. Hmm. It does smell... It does smell vaguely similar to Dr. Pepper. I will give it that. Again, because it's a full sugar, it probably just smells a bit more syrupy, which it, it does. It just smells like it's a full sugar version rather than the sugar-free version. But it does just remind me of the Dr. Pepper. Yeah. It's not super strong, but it's just got that kind of light, light flavour on it, like kind of the Dr. Pepper uh, has. Yeah. But it smells nice. Yeah, it does smell nice. Okay, guys. Nevertheless... Let's taste some. Ooh. Okay. So, that is really refreshing. I mean, I'm quite thirsty this morning as I'm recording this, but... It's nice and cold, as we know, and that is really, really refreshing. Now, like I said, I don't really drink full sugar Dr. Pepper, so it's, it's going to be a bit hard for me to kind of think about it, but I guess I could compare it to the to the Zero. So in terms of sweetness, so I'll start with the sweetness and stuff. It's not as syrupy as you think. It's definitely got kind of like some syrup in there, but I'd say it's it's more sugar sweet than it is syrup sweet. Uh, sweet? Yeah, um, yeah, syrup sweet. So... Trying to compare that to the to the to the Dr Pepper Zero, it's like I guess the Dr Pepper Zero just hasn't got that extra kind of sweetness kick to it. But again, we're going to be kind of comparing this as an energy drink rather than actual Dr Pepper itself. So yeah, it's definitely more sugar sweet than it is soupy, but you know it has got some of the soupiness in there. Yes, this definitely has got that kind of marzipan ish kick to it if you want to call it which dr pepper has definitely noticed it a lot more stronger in in this one than i have done in say the sugar-free versions um of the dr peppers but it definitely has got that marzipan taste some people can't really see it in dr pepper some people can't stand that kind of dr pepper taste um because end of the day dr pepper is dr pepper it's like it is what it is but then again most people can label it as, as uh, along the marzipan lines which is understandable so, yes, it definitely has that marzipan taste, but backed up with the sweetness, it's just really, really nice. And I'd say, to honest with you, it is probably, like, almost original Dr. Pepper, because, like I said, with the caffeine, caffeine doesn't really, well, it doesn't taste of anything. Caffeine is just caffeine. Caffeine is just the white powder. So, if you trick someone and say, okay, here's a can of Dr. Pepper for you, if you said to them, it wasn't like the energy version. They wouldn't know any different. They'd just drink it as... Like if I drank that, not knowing that was energy, it had caffeine in it. I know normal fizzy drinks have a bit of caffeine and stuff in them anyway, but as this is predominantly higher in caffeine, you know, like energy drink style caffeine in it, you could literally trick someone and say, okay, that's not that's not an energy drink. Here's a normal Dr. Pepper. And I think that's the key factor of having an energy version of and the brand i think that's what the coke energy's got so wrong it just tasted so different and so bad and you could just tell but this you, you definitely won't be able to tell that's an energy drink dr pepper which is good that's how it should be so like i said you've got the marzipan flavor along with the kind of syrupiness in there but more of the sugar sweet uh the aftertaste the aftertaste let me take another sip for the aftertaste yeah drink it get that marzipan kind of the sweetness to be honest, the aftertaste, I didn't get too much of the aftertaste. I guess you could say it as it's like, it's kind of like a, a light aftertaste. It doesn't, doesn't really kind of kick much for the aftertaste, but it's like, it's just kind of that marzipan flavour kind of just then dissipating kind of the aftertaste, kind of just dissipates. Not in a bad way, but it kind of just dissipates and goes away. But um, overall, yeah, that's, that's brilliant. That's exactly what a fizzy energy drink should be. So take note, Coke. Definitely look at what these guys have done. And I mean, I'm not sure who owns Dr. Pepper. I don't know whether it's... I don't know if Dr. Pepper is part of the Coke... Uh, the Coke... I'm not sure. Actually, it says down here, Dr. Pepper slash 7-Up. But again, who owns 7-Up? I'm not too sure. I'm not going to 
detail. It's got Orange Jr. on here as well and Sweps. I don't know. But um, and Sweps is owned by Coke, isn't it? So, I mean, whatever. It's all part of some of the same family. But regardless, as far as I'm concerned, that's nice. It's just like Dr. Pepper. You could easily trick someone with that and you wouldn't even know. And um, seeing as it's a full sugar, can't go wrong with people that like the full sugar ones. I would like to see a sugar-free version of the Dr. Pepper Energy, seeing as this one is so, so good. But, um... But yeah, nevertheless, guys, that's nice. So, I mean, and I said I don't really like full sugar Dr. Pepper, but that's all right. You know, I'll just, it's not I don't like the full sugar. It's just I don't drink the full sugar because they have so much sugar. So, you know, it is what it is with them. But anyways, that does get a thumbs up from me. So as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you all later.